Report from this year's auto show circuit. Our crew has just gotten back from the Windy City in the 1993 Chicago Auto Show. The big news from Chicago is about small trucks. Two new models on display for the first time. First up is GMC with its all-new Sonoma Compact. Its sleek contemporary styling is complemented by a roomier car-like interior. Base power is a 2.2 liter 4, but by opting for one of two V6s, buyers will also get standard four-wheel anti-lock brakes. Chevy's version will be known as the S10. Mazda showed off its new compact truck lineup as well. Although based on the Ford Ranger, much of the B-Series sheet metal is unique to Mazda. The square-shouldered look is more utilitarian than the Ranger's rounder sport truck styling. Sales start in May. And Dodge Truck gave Windy Cityites their first look at a facelifted Ram van that goes on sale next month. The sheet metal changes include new grill and taillight treatments. Four-wheel ABS is optional. Like any auto show, people come here to see cars. And as usual, concept cars drew the biggest crowds. We were lucky to even see the Dodge Viper GTS, which had people lined up four and five deep on opening day. Chrysler officials are studying the feasibility of producing this stunning coupe. But if it were up to us, they could start selling it tomorrow. Chevrolet showed the Caprice-based Impala SS, also being considered for production. Features a leather interior, police package suspension, and Corvette LT1 V8 power. Pontiac debuted its newest concept, the Grand Am GT. Built in the spirit of the legendary GTO muscle cars from the 60s, it sports victory orange paint, a special interior, and even has Ram air induction. V6 horsepower is pegged at 205. As for production cars, Toyota unveiled its all-new 220-horse Supra and 320-horsepower Supra Turbo. These fast 2 plus 2s should cause plenty of headaches for sports car competitors when they hit the streets in June. And Hyundai debuted a sporty little convertible called the Sun Scoop. It should retail for about $13,000 when it hits the sunshine beat next fall. Lots of companies gave out souvenirs, but none as tangible as Volkswagen's. They gave away free cars to everyone. Actually, these toy Eurovans were part of a recycling display manufactured right on the spot from ground up car bumpers. It's no wonder that the Chicago Auto Show draws over a million visitors each year. With the right mix of new cars and dream cars, there is something for everyone.